everyone. My name is Vinay. Today's topic is about IBM Curator Network Insights, leaving nowhere to hide. Uh, we have two speakers today, Prabir and Bubai. Let me introduce them. Bubai is currently serving as the squad lead for the threat management security team in the APAC region. Prabir is working as a product lead architect in IBM India Software Labs. I'll now hand over to Bubai to continue with today's session. Over to you, Bubai. Okay, uh, so good afternoon, everyone. As you already know, today we are uh, here to discuss Curator Network Insights. So uh, before we begin, uh, let me uh, take you through the agenda first. Uh, in our agenda today, we will start with overview of Q&A. Uh, then we will discuss about the benefits of Q&A. Uh, furthermore, we'll discuss on use cases of Q&A. Next in the session, we'll talk about uh, different Q&A appliances. Thereafter, we'll discuss on how does Q&A fit into, into your existing Cura deployment, followed by how do you connect Q&A to your network to get the packets, or how does Q&A works. Then we'll discuss a flow inspection levels, followed by a demonstration. So uh, before we get into Q&A, uh, let's uh, understand why it's needed. To begin with, uh, we first understand what devices tells us in form of flows that are duration in time and events that are moments in time. So an example of an event is a user who attempts to authenticate against your firewall. If the authentication is successful or unsuccessful, the firewall sends a log to Curator. Similarly, flows are sessions between two hosts, such as file transfer, video conference, chat sessions, or email thread. With flows, you can see the source and destination of the session, uh, the application that are used, and the files that are transferred. When you collect raw network traffic, you see the actual message that were sent and received by the devices in order, in order for them to communicate with each other. These flows represent the truth of what happened in your network. And unlike events, they are not just a snapshot of a particular moment of time. Flows have a lifespan and contain the original message that devices send to each other which is useful when you figure out what happened into your security incident. Thereafter, once we get the flows, Kyoda sees your network traffic as a series of packets, which is the basic flow visibility. Files and sessions that are transferred over your network are a group of packets. Kyoda can reconstruct those packets from a particular session, so you can investigate that sessions. These network packets are captured by Kyodar using Kyodar, net, Kyodar flow collector, then Kyodar uses information from the packet header and the packet payload. So protocols like NetFlow, IPFix, JFlow, and SFlow like, look into the uh, header data or metadata. There are many investigations that you can perform on the packet header. The header contains information like what you see on the front of, like in, on the front of uh, envelope, like who sent this, who is it for, or how large it is. So basically you see byte count, duration, source and destination IP addresses, source and destination ports, et cetera. With this metadata, you can see who is communicating with whom at what time of the day and strange volume of traffic. So you can also see new devices on network and even see which application devices are using. However, you can read the actual data that is sent or the packet payload. Kira flow collectors read the first 64 bytes of the payload. Your network insights can read much more of the packet payload. The packet payload also provides more accurate application detection than is available in the packet header. The payload content is like opening the envelope and reading the letter inside. So q &A provides much more visibility to your network traffic than is available from the protocols that view metadata or packet header information. q &A provides visibility of much more of the packet payload for real-time traffic analysis, you just need to install it on a tab, span, or a mirror port, just like a flow collector. So QA provides in-depth visibility into network communications in real-time basis to extend the capabilities of your Kyoda deployment. Through the deep analysis of network activity and applications content, QA empowers Kyoda sense analytics to detect the, uh, the threat activity that would otherwise go unnoticed. So now uh, here we are. Uh, here are some of the benefits of using Kyoto Network Insights. 
So Q9 utilizes in-depth packet inspection to detect advanced threat and malicious content. It enhances Kyodar's capability to identify phishing attacks, malware intrusions, lateral movement, and data exfiltrations. So nothing is left behind. Also, it detects log application activities, captured key artifacts, and in identifies assets, applications, and users involved in network communications. QNA implements layer seven content analysis for advanced and security insight and provides files analytics to analyze and track files. So QNA uh, offers visibility of various use cases uh, such as uh, detecting and analyzing malware. So uh, malware often changes to avoid being detected. So QNA can help you to detect malware by analyzing file hashes and file activity as well as by observing and analyzing artifacts such as names, uh, properties, movement, and uh, suspicious content. It identifies phishing and email campaigns. So phishing can hide among regular emails, making it, making it difficult to detect. QNA can help you prepare for and respond to these malicious emails by analyzing sources, targets, subject, and content. Uh, it's, spot, it's spotting uh, insider threats. To spot insider threats, you can integrate QNI with user behavior analytics app to improve threat detections. So use QNI analytics to recognize high risk users, uh, potential targets of phishing, and negative uh, sentiment and suspicious behaviors. Uh, it detects uh, lateral movement attacks. So Curator Network Insights can trace anomalous communications, uh, reconciliance, data transfers, rogue and malicious actors. It also protecting against uh, data exfiltration. So data can be exfiltered through many methods. Use QNI to identify and track suspicious files such as DNS abnormalities, sensitive content, anomalous uh, connections, and aliases. Also, QNI allows for continuous monitoring of enterprise, industry, and regulatory compliance. When you install uh, Curator Network Insights, you must specify the ID that matches the type of appliance that you want to install. The following table shows the appliance IDs. So based on different hardware capabilities and number of NAPATEC cards, we have four QNA uh, hardware appliances. So we can do software, software or virtual appliance installation as well on QNA, uh, for QNA systems. Flow uh, inspection levels are uh, cumulative and each level collects more data than the level uh, before it. So you must configure the flow inspection level to suit the flow rate that you want to achieve. So um, from uh, like you can stack the QDR Network Insights uh, 1920 appliance, which is basically type 6200 uh, to distribute network packets data across multiple NAPATEC cards. So you cannot stack appliance in a QDR Network Insights software installation. So you can stack QA appliances to scale performance by load balancing the network packet data across multiple appliances. By distributing the data processing and analysis, stacked appliances can help you handle higher data volumes and improve flow throughput performance at the highest inspection level. Uh, we'll talk about flow inspection levels in later slides. So here is how uh, does QNA fit into your existing uh, deployment. So QNA uh, collects flow data, so it's it fits in Curator deployment just like another flow collector. But where it stands out is the capability to perform deep packet inspections. It is a dedicated appliance to dig deep as per the configuration. All the analysis that you heard about so far, it applies to the QLR, uh, the, like to apply uh, data collected by QNI. It just uh, gives more uh, context to the collected data. As you can see uh, from the diagram, data on the network between different endpoints and cloud environments are captured through network tab. This captured data is taken up by uh, Kirada Network Insights and Kirada Network Packet Capture, uh, which, which indeed is connected to the Kirada deployment that helps in incident detection and qualification. Kirada performs three analysis on your flow data received. First, Kirada uses several algorithms to determine the application that is used in the flow. Second, uh, Kirada determines the direction of the flow and thus 
the sender and the receiver. These two analysis on their own provide value when you investigate incidents in your network activity. Not only this, on stack controller, Kira network packet capture connect port 3 to a QNI appliance. So port 3 is used to retransmit all captured data to the QNI appliance. The data is retransmitted in a special format with high precision data capture timestamp embedded in the frame. Kirodar network packet capture that indeed is connected to Kirodar incident forensics to provide root cause analysis. This analysis is again ingested in Kirodar deployment to uh, like for deep, deeper inspection. So how does q and works? To know how uh, Kirodar works, uh, let me uh, take a step back and discuss on how alerts can be generated without q &A. So we all know Kirodar takes up events from various endpoints and rules are created to figure out about threats. So Kira receives flows from a number of sources like routers, span ports, switches, uh, firewalls, and network tabs. These flows can also be used to create flow rules that can provide us with more information about the threat detected. QA collects flows using tab and works similarly as flow collector with deeper packet inspections. If in case uh, the traffic is encrypted, the visibility of q &A is limited, but still you can able to identify the unique threats. q &A makes use of hashes, Yara rules, uh, J3 and SSL hashes, etc., and automatically suspect contents. Let's say you have collected bad hashes feeds from a Stix taxi and added into references, so you can set up a rule to trigger offenses based on that. So this is how q &A works and provides enriched thread directions. Also, IBM Kirata Network Insight content extension provides multiple rules and report content to detect suspicious behavior via flow analysis. As you can configure the inspection level or the level of detail that can retrieves from your traffic. The basic level includes data such as source and destination IP uh, IP addresses, network protocols, and quality of service. The enriched flow inspection level includes all basic flow inspections and adds data such as username, host information, and file hashes. The advanced flow inspection level includes uh, basic and enriched flow inspections and contain much more granular data such as uh, documented contents. So you can refer to this detailed information uh, related to inspection level. Uh, this tells you about what can be captured in different QNI inspection levels. Thank you so much for joining today.